Thank you, Mr. President. Today, Mr. President, we have an opportunity to do away with a law that tramples on our constitutional rights, a law that invades the privacy of law-abiding Montanans and Americans, a law that deprives Americans some of our most basic constitutional protections. This week, we are voting on whether to extend the USA Patriot Act four more years as is. And there's a chance that we may not have an opportunity to change it, even though we know that our freedoms have been compromised. And that is a shame, because without that possibility, we're not having the debate the American people deserve. If our only choice is to vote yes or no, I'm going to vote no. Long before I ever got to the Senate, the Patriot Act was sold to us as a toolbox of sorts to give U.S. agents the tools they need to find and fight and kill terrorists. What we got from the Patriot Act was a law that is killing the rights guaranteed by our Constitution. It gives our government full authority to dig through your private records or tap your phones or make a case against you without even having a judge's warrant even if you're doing nothing wrong. We give up our rights, Mr. President. We give, away, we give way to exactly what the terrorists wanted for us, fewer freedoms and invasion of privacy. It's not acceptable in Montana, and I'm sure it's not acceptable anywhere else. More than 200 years ago, one of our founders of this country warned us, and here's what he said. Those who give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Words of wisdom from Benjamin Franklin. Our nation was founded on the principles of freedom and privacy in a government that we control. And we got exactly the opposite with the Patriot Act. Mr. President, here's a copy of the Constitution. It's a reminder of our rights as Americans guaranteed by the Fourth Amendment. And I quote, the right of people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures seizures shall not be violated. The folks who wrote the Patriot Act were here in Washington long before I even thought about running for the U.S. Senate. But you do not have to be a lawyer to know that the Patriot Act flies in the face of the Fourth Amendment. It allows the government to conduct secret proceedings even when those proceedings don't need to be held in secret. And if we allow that to happen, we toss government transparency and accountability out the window. As we've seen over the past few weeks, our military forces and intelligence agents are the most effective in the world. They are the best because they have the most powerful tools in the, world, in the world to do their jobs. They are better trained than anyone else. They're stronger, they're smarter, and they do what they do without needing to snoop around in the private lives of law-abiding Americans and Montanans. Without having to dig up your medical records or your gun records or your library records or your internet records, Mr. President, the Patriot Act is bad policy that has put us on a very slippery slope. Our constitutional freedoms are too valuable to give even an inch of them away, especially when we don't need to. And without the opportunity to make real changes to this bill, our only option is to say yes or no to extending this law four more years. If we do, an entire decade will have passed without the opportunity to make any adjustments. Not having the opportunity to amend the Patriot Act, I'm going to vote against it in the name of freedom and privacy. And I urge all my colleagues to do the same because it's a responsible thing to do. With that, Mr. President.